I'm Steve McCart. I'm the digital photography teacher at Cedar Lake High School. My first interest in photography was, I think I was in fourth grade or fifth grade, and I got a little camera that was called a brownie camera, and they were those little click and snap picture cameras like um, you do now, the digital ones. But my real interest in photography happened when I was in high school. My friend and I took a photography class, and he wanted to take it because he heard we could go off campus, and you know, and so I thought that'd be kind of fun too. But once I got into the class, I got really interested in what was going on, and so I wasn't interested in doing the other stuff. I was interested in taking the pictures and getting better at taking pictures. And after I got my cam camera, I think my grandfather gave me one of his. Um, I would take that camera everywhere. I'd Every class I went to, I took pictures. In fact, um, I wasn't on the yearbook staff, but like half of my senior year, the pictures in the yearbook were my pictures because I always had my camera with me. I approached new ideas and technology in my class because I love what's the newest, greatest thing out there. Like, we were one of the first schools to use digital cameras. I put in, we had a, a school-wide tech bond and I put in for these cameras, and at the time they were like $4,000 a piece, but they got passed in the tech bond, and so I had these four cameras that, um, that no other school had, and so we had digital cameras way before anybody else. And I'm always trying to learn what to do in photography. With I, I, I started working with Photoshop when it was Photoshop 1.0, and like we're at, Photoshop CS 2015 and Photoshop 1.0 came out like in 1990 or 91, somewhere in there. So I've always been looking for the newest, greatest thing and uh, I love the way photography has evolved over like the last 20 years. It's been insane. For me, the most rewarding aspect of being a teacher is when your students succeed at something. Like if I have kids enter a film festival and they take first place, or I have my debate team um, break finals at state and things like that, or when I helped with the plays, you know, having a successful um, show. So I'm really all about, it, it makes me feel good when students I worked with succeed in whatever they're doing. That's why I, I enjoy Ryan Haug is doing very well in the industry, and he started uh, back in 2000, and now I had Keegan Holt is, is following in his footsteps, and, and so I really enjoy kids getting to um, have success in the things that they were learned and worked with me in. Yeah. Most of the photography I teach is digital photography, and um, the best thing about digital photography is it allows you to do a lot of um, cool manipulation um, and at the same time you're still taking pictures like you know freezing action or doing stuff with the camera and learning how to do fun tricks with the camera and things like that. I like showing the kids that it's a camera's something other than something you hold out in front of you and take a picture of you and your friends that if you turn the camera around you can do some really amazing things and like force perspective and compression and um, cool, uh, cool composition shots and things like that. Or you can do long exposures and do ghosting or painting with light or bokeh. And so just teaching the kids all the things that cameras can do. I think photography is an underrated form of art. Um, like. Um, you know, it's, it's a fine art credit at Cedar Lake High School, but sometimes people think that maybe that shouldn't be, and to me that's, that's crazy talk because you can, you can create a photo, uh, you can create a painting with a camera in the same way that you can create a painting with, with, with brushes or, or charcoal or anything like that, because what you're doing is you're taking something in nature and transferring it to a uh, piece of artwork and uh, it's definitely um, a really good form of art, really exciting form of art and the way I change that is to try to get kids to do that with a camera. Don't just take selfies, don't just take snapshots, try to get different angles and I try to teach them how to use the camera other than just a, um, a toy but use it as a tool to um, create something that uh, wasn't there before. Because if you take stuff at 
different angles, it all of a sudden doesn't look like the thing that it, that you're seeing in nature. And just by just trying to sometimes by moving down your angle or your perspective, you can create a whole new image of whatever you're working with. Yeah, we're taking surrealism shots. And I'm gonna take a few pictures of Madison. She's gonna be like jumping off of something in the green room. And then we're gonna put like her, we're gonna Photoshop her into the picture with a bug. 